think the first thing that gives people confidence about working with Alliance is that, that the longevity is there. Um, we've been doing this for a long time. That's one of the first machines that we manufactured here. Can I still get the parts? <laughs> we might not have those available. <laughs> when we first started out doing business outside of the U.S., we heard all of the barriers that we're going to have uh, in trying to grow the business. Yeah, these machines that you see, uh, they could be going anywhere in the world. Today, we have the largest distributor network in commercial laundry uh, in the world. Jackson, my oldest son, is the big guy there that looks like me with the red sock. You got to see him score a goal. <laughs> I came to Florence as a student and was looking for a different business opportunities. This one I've had for about three and a half years, um, and I needed to do my laundry. <laughs> so I thought, wow, you know, a guy could open up laundry mats and make a fortune, and I kept repeating this to myself. The smallest laundry we ever built is actually right here. Probably one of the smaller ones in the world. In the early years, it was, it was difficult. Being Italy is, it was a virgin market, I thought if I created a, a nice concept, it was something that I could repeat. And I, I saw that in the States, it was an idea that had taken off way before. Francesco is uh, our architect. Expansion was slow throughout the 90s. However, our best sales tool uh, were our stores. This is literally the fifth store we've been to today. Yeah, I can take you to another 15 if you 20, <laughs> as many as you like. <laughs> and it was kind of a, a snowball effect in that as these stores started doing better and better, people would see other people washing their clothes and the idea really started to take off. But what number of store will this be for you? Um, probably total 300 and something. No. Ah, okay, okay. Si, 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 okay. La, la, la mafia. My name is Marcial. Coley called me out of the blue and said, I want you to come work for me. And so that was six years ago. The, the wash and dries, they crank. They do really good. They don't have dryers in most of the homes here in Italy. And uh, it's a new thing to them. So they, they get kind of hooked on it. People tell us, we're so happy we found you. And they'll drive from other towns. Italians are pretty excited about the, the concept, I would say. We are aiming at opening eight uh, stores in total. We've covered most of the central northern part of the country. The southern part is still virgin territory. But we're, we're working on that. <laughs> when you look outside of the U.S., there are some markets that are very similar, very established, very mature. But there are some that have just a few pieces of equipment in it. The exciting thing is that oftentimes you can start out with a very small investment. I believe this is the first coin laundry in the Philippines and so it's actually um, it's the men's bathroom and then we converted like a small portion of it. When we tried to introduce coin laundry in the Philippines, what we learned is that a lot of people like it because they see it in the movies, but since there's none here, no one wanted to be first. When it first started, when we first opened this, I was actually here for two weeks, you know, like introducing them to the concept. You know, I, I teach them how to sort their clothes. I learned that throughout the world, it always starts out in universities. So I figured, you know, I probably need to start it. So yeah, test works for me, and um, like the students love her. She's saying um, the students find it amusing to do their own laundry using tokens. <laughs> like I never gave laundry like a second look until you know when I did my own laundry in the in the U.S. and I saw how little information about laundry is available in the Philippines. Every day actually that I was seeing the data, you know, I got more and more inspired that, you know, this is really what I want to do. I don't, I don't know if there's any laundry place in the Philippines that will have this many equipment. Like the customers for this is really going to be like the laundry ladies and we want to be able to keep the prices low enough for them to make You know, with Alliance's help, I was able to form this business model that we think will work in the Philippines. Yeah, I have the smallest office. That's my table. <laughs> we never considered working with anyone else besides Alliance because this is the same model that's being used in America, in Europe, and you really don't want to reinvent the wheel. That's one of the great things I like about Alliance is they actually come over and look at how the water was done, how the electricity was you know, set up. Working with them is a real partnership. You know, I, I, sometimes I even get a feeling that we're just like one company. 
One, one thing that we know is that there's absolutely nothing that replaces being face-to-face -face with a customer in their place of business. So that's why we have people in key areas. We have a field manager in Lebanon. We have one in Malaysia, one in Mexico City. In Malaysia, we have Jackson Tang. When a field manager goes into a location, he'll say, OK, let's, let's play on this a little bit more. Uh, do you have the tools that you need? This is an international uh, unit that will be sent to one of our international customers. The uh, rapport with experts from Alliance was especially important in the early stages of the business. They were open to developing products that we needed over here because the, the gas codes are different, the electrical. They're, uh, they're good collaborators. Nobody really loves to do laundry, right? Nobody really wakes up in the morning and says, today is a great day because I have to do my laundry. It's the first car for our company. But what is exciting is that if you want to invest uh, and you want to make your living, a laundromat is an excellent and proven way to do that.